this is Tania. I am checking in. I just wanted to give a word this morning. The Lord has just been dealing with me about my flesh. The flesh doesn't just entail of our physical body, but also our emotions. I've been going through a lot of stress lately in different areas of my life, and I had to come to terms. I had a meeting with the Lord this morning, and it just brought me to a point of self-awareness. And this very personal relationship that we have with the Lord, it comes down to us being self-aware and that comes also with us spending time with ourselves to understand what we're going through and also being honest with the Lord with what's going on with us because he already knows what's going on in our life anyway it's just he's waiting for us to ask him specifically for what we need you know we have free will free choice to engage him I think it was the blind man the blind beggar in the book of Luke when he was coming to the Lord and Jesus specifically asked him, what do you need? Or what is it you want me to do for you? Even though Jesus already knew the man's need, he wanted him to specify what he wanted him to do. As a people, it's easy for us to do that when it comes down to a tangible need, you know, a tangible need, something that we need financially or a job or whatever. But when it comes down to our emotions, Maybe it's a little bit harder because, you know, emotions are hard. And I'm saying that as a mental health professional, emotions are hard. So I'm encouraging you today as I'm on my way to my job to be specific. If you are needing the Lord for something in regards to your soul, you know, your mind, your will, your emotions, be specific on what you need. And sometimes we got so much going on, it's hard for us to specify like, Lord, I'm dealing with this because we are trying to self-medicate through food, through whatever, whatever it is that we're idolizing at that moment. But that's where fasting comes into play. And I'm speaking to myself as well. If you are feeling a pull to fast, that's the Lord engaging you to fast so that you can get clarity on what you really need for him and you can speak that to him through prayer. God wants to help us with our soul. He wants to help us with what we're going through in our heart and our mind. So, But we have to come to a point of clarity so that we can speak it to him, even though he already knows what it is. Because like I said, he's not going to, even though he knows what's going on with us, he's not going to force us to say anything or to, to bring it up. We have to engage him in prayer about our specific needs emotionally. So I just wanted to encourage you with that because that's just something that the Lord was dealing with me about this morning. As a professional helping other people to sort out things in their soul, even though that's not what it's called clinically, but that's really what it is. You know, people are sharing very vulnerable parts of their mind and their heart and their spirit with me through therapy. And I'm helping them on a clinical basis. But I'm not saying that therapy is the same thing that we're doing when we engage God in prayer. But I am saying that when we are engaging God in prayer, we are opening ourselves up. And we're being, it's hard to be vulnerable sometimes, even with the Lord. It's hard to be transparent about what we have going on because a lot of negative emotions like shame and guilt might come up, especially in the presence of God because he's He's the healer. He's Jehovah Rapha at the end of the day and he wants you to share those things with him so that he can help you. It's a process. It comes down to hearing what he wants to tell you. There might be some things that he wants to talk to you about that you really need to, to sit down for some time and really take in some hard things, some revelations. And then there might be some things that are people he might need to connect you with so that he can continue to work through that space with you. But it's doable. But you just got to take the time to spend time with him so that he can do his work in your heart. So I just want to share that with you this morning. I pray that you guys are having a good day. And I'm about to pull up into this workplace. Y'all pray my strength. And until the next time.